We're here to celebrate, and celebrate is the correct word here. We're here to celebrate 10 years of Insight Research Center. In these 10 years, many things have changed within Insight. We've changed chairpersons. I've been here for seven or eight years now. We've changed CEOs. Noel O'Connor is our current CEO and longest standing CEO, and deservedly so, because Noel is an outstanding leader and an excellent communicator. We've changed center directors, two of whom remain from the original, Barry O'Sullivan in Cork and Brian Caulfield in UCD. They were founder directors and they're still in situ. We've lived through new presidents in each of our four co-owning institutions, UCD, UCC, University of Galway and DCU, as well as new BPRs in each case as well. In this time, Insight has played its part in the national COVID effort and it has become a large scale inclusive national research endeavor. It has developed an effective way of delivering valuable partnerships to industry, multinationals and SMEs. And we look forward to welcoming more industrial partners and the relatively new technological universities in the near future. 10 years is in some places a long time, but it is our view and intent that Insight will grow and develop into a larger, more inclusive endeavor for the great benefit of Ireland, for our people, and for the national economy. Now, Insight represents a vision for a data-driven society. We believe in the power of data to help people live healthier, safer, more successful lives. And in Insight, we have been exploring how data-driven thinking can have a positive impact on many aspects of our society, from health care and education to science, and food and agriculture, even government and politics, politics. Now we're here to celebrate 10 years of insight, but of course the seeds of insight were sown many years before that in the researchers and the research centers that came before insight. And creating insight took a leap of faith by Science Foundation Ireland. It involved bringing together many different researchers from many different fields to create a truly national research center. And this has helped establish insight on the world stage. This is the sort of scale that Irish research needs to make sure that it's visible internationally and also to allow it to take advantage of the many different opportunities and collaborations that exist in the modern world of scientific research. Moreover, by bringing together researchers in areas such as artificial intelligence and machine learning, Insight has posi positioned itself really uniquely in terms of the opportunity that now exists to operate and take advantage of uh, the new AI revolution that is all but upon us. And I think that this really ensures that Insight is very well positioned uh, over the coming years. I've been really lucky through my collaboration with Insight to be put in contact with amazing multidisciplinary teams and governing bodies. Insight have linked us with Vision Sports Ireland. They're the national go governing body for sports and leisure opportunities for people who are blind and vision impaired. And with their help, our research in physical activity levels, barriers and motivators for people who are blind and vision impaired has improved massively. Vision Sports have let us take our research to the next level. As a direct result of working with Insight and Vision Sports Ireland, we have had opportunities to present at conferences in uh, Vision 2023 in Denver, the Child Vision Research Society in London, and the International Symposium on Physical Activity for People with Vision Impairments in Parma, Italy. And none of that would have happened without the input of Insight. Before joining Insight in April 2022, an Insight alumnus told me how much of a family Insight is. But when I came, I found out that it is much more. In Insight, there is a unique blend of cautious and research background that makes it such an exciting environment to work in. There are lots of training and career development opportunities for early career researchers like myself. Looking back at my PhD, my PhD was focused on a specific application of uh, computer science in human motion analysis. And I kept wondering what is going to be the use for all this in practice. But when I came to Insight, I was pleasantly surprised because I realized that there is a place for me. I got to work on a really exciting project with Brian, Georgiana and Hannah 
on measuring human motion in a way that could solve real world problems. And then it got even better when I got the opportunity to apply and was selected for the Neuro Insight Marie Curie Postdoc Fellowship, where we would do even more exciting research in four prediction, which could potentially contribute to the livelihood of the Hell Dali. I'm really, really, really glad to be a part of Insight and part to be a part of this celebration. I joined Insight back in 2013 to do my PhD. Uh, I was working on content-based image retrieval using deep learning. Um, and then after, after the PhD, I, I did a short stay of a postdoc, also in the center, uh, working in video analytics. That was a, a great preparation for me uh, for later on my career when I decided to move back to, to Spain and, and work in industry. Currently, I'm, I'm an applied scientist at, at Amazon, and, and I'm extremely grateful at my time at Insight because it was not only like a great technical preparation and, and, and growth uh, as a scientist, but also I, my state teach me to not to be afraid to new challenges and always keep the curiosity, curiosity to learn uh, new, new, new things. Uh, so happy 10th anniversary, Insight, and for many more. I just wanted to highlight some of the amazing things that the Insight Centre has done for me over the years, because for me, this centre has covered uh, the majority of my career. It was through Insight that I got my first ever funded grant, which was an innovation partnership looking at machine learning for online shopping environments. And it was from that grant that I got my first major PI award through SFI. And I've since set up partnerships with other companies looking at, for example, machine learning for medical data analytics, and particularly focusing on cardiovascular risk. But most recently, I think Insight has been funding my research on climate and sustainability. Uh, for example, we build mathematical models um, that look at migration and diet patterns of endangered species. And the methods and the software that my research team have developed from those scientists are able to track the effects of, of biodiversity loss, of, of poor land management, um, and the effect of invasive species on the, on the natural environment. And so whilst I think that some of the research I've done has clear economic benefits, other parts of it are much more blue sky and basic. And I think it's, it's wonderful that Insights funds that full gamut of necessary research.